introducing you to a four-star Chicagoan who actually makes his patients excited to go to see the dentist. And he even found a way to brighten the smiles of kids in Chicago's underserved communities. Take a look. I've been a dentist in the Chicagoland area for 10 years. I have three locations, one in Woodlawn, one in Chatham, and one in South Holland. The first thing people look at is your smile. So having good oral hygiene, quality of life overall becomes significantly better. We have a mobile component, which is dear to my heart, named Smiles of Tomorrow, where we go to daycares and schools and service the underserved community, regardless of their ability to pay. Everybody show me your, your big smiles with those nice big white teeth. Set up uh, our chairs, all our equipment, and we basically do exams, cleanings, we do oral hygiene instructions. And if a child has decay cavities, we refer them to one of the locations they get treated to prevent them from actually ever having pain. The dentist is happy when he comes here. He looks at our teeth. My teeth feel good and clean now. I'm not scared to go to the dentist. People it's important that he comes to the daycare in, in our facility because some of the parents can't afford to take time off of work. So when he comes, he's doing us a great service. The children get quality dental care. The idea came from access to care issues. Growing up, majority of the kids, children in our community, they used to talk with their hands covering their mouth, and that was because they had brown teeth or cavities or their mouth was hurting or sore. So I said early on as a child, I would like to change that. I started thinking that everybody deserves to have a dentist. Say, ah. Uh... Your mouth is the gateway to everything you do, whether it's speaking, talking, smiling, eating, chewing, or even breathing. So I'm big on having the best product for every human being that I treat. This dentist's office is warm and inviting. It's like a family setting. Well, me personally, if you have any apprehension with dentists, he may be real comfortable about coming and being a patient here. There was uh, a desert, a dental desert, so I figured this would be the perfect place to install a business that hopefully the rest of the community can grow off of and have a place that they can call home and actually give them hope, motivate them, install confidence in them, teach them oral hygiene so that they won't go through some of the things my friends have to go through and improve their overall quality of life. Please welcome from my dental gallery, Dr. Bowden. Mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm ready for the name. <laughs> well, thank you for being here. What you're doing is truly, truly amazing. And you were one of nine coming out of Inglewood. Yes, yes. One of nine coming out of Inglewood. Three bedroom, one bath. A lot of love. A lot of love from my parents. Yeah, and, and your father yeah. taught you a very important lesson. What was that lesson? Um, it's not where you're from. It's not your circumstance. It's your mentality. You can all, we can all get out of it. Right, and now you're going to have how many doctors in the family? Three. My brother graduated from Marquette Dental School in May. All wow. dentists? All dentists. What have you going into a practice together? We are. Right now, we are. So, in our family, we always do public health before we go to private practice. Yeah. So, my my brother, uh, one of my brothers underneath me, he practices in Milwaukee in an underserved area. Okay. So, he's finishing up his four years there, and he's going to come back. And then my brother graduates from Marquette, he's going to come back. Yeah. Oh, What's the best cool. part about helping the kids and people in underserved communities? Um, it, it's It's very dear to my heart because mm -hmm. I grew up in Inglewood. I grew up with friends having toothaches. I saw kids have to put their head down in school, in the classroom because of tooth pain. Um, no one should have to go through that. It's a preventable disease. Um, anything that's preventable should be prevented. And it's at that younger level we need to start teaching these kids these good habits. Um, so that's very important. Mm -hmm. I think it's so important too because you mentioned the lack of confidence you have when you have bad teeth. I mean, have you seen the transformation happen in some of your patients? Has just totally changed a life around? Yes, I have. I, I see it all the time. I saw it happen in my own brother. He had crooked teeth, used to talk with his hand over his mouth, was underperforming in school. He got braces, changed his smile, and all of a sudden he had swagger is what we call it. <laughs> right. Now he's feeling good and he's performing well. and. Just with better teeth, more inviting, like you guys, you know? <laughs> when we look at you, it's inviting. Our, our teeth it's good? inviting. It's inviting. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. It, it gives you more of an opportunity. Right. Um, if you go for a, a, a job and mm -hmm. 
You, you're missing a tooth? Yeah. Mm. They don't even get the chance to know what you know. Right. You've, al you've already been judged five to ten minutes or within the first ten seconds sometime. Because right. this is a judgmental yeah. society, yeah. so you need to have a good smile. Yeah. Yeah. I can relate to that tooth pain, too, because w we went through some tough times when I was young, did not have any insurance, and I had, a, I had to get a root canal done. I was in so much pain, could not afford it. And thankfully, um, I got, got a, a doctor that would let me make payments. He didn't do it for free, right. but at least we made payments and got it done. But that is, I mean, when you're going through that kind of pain and you oh, can't yeah. get it fixed, there is nothing like it. Yes, mm. your, your quality of life goes out the window. Right. And just, just think of not just adults, but when a kid is going through this, right. they can't perform. There's right. over 51 million school hours that's lost every year due to tooth pain, wow. mm. due to tooth decay. Right. Um, if you can't chew your food, you can't nourish your body. What your is? mouth is a gateway. You do everything with your mouth. Exactly. You right. smile, you, you chew, air comes through, however, Society have separated your mouth from your body. Yeah, right. no, that's not And safe. you're trying to get into more schools now? Yes, we're trying to get into more schools, more daycares, um, uh, educate teachers, educate daycare owners uh, so that they can educate the kids. Because some of these kids in these underserved areas, some of them may, may not have a toothbrush. So we make sure we give them a toothbrush. We make sure we educate mm -hmm. the, the daycare owners and the teachers on how to take care of their teeth, and we educate the child themselves. All right, mm -hmm. well, we hear you got a little something, something for our audience. Yes, I do. <laughs> I, guess what? What? You get a whitening. You get a free whitening. If you watch it, you get a free whitening. All new face. I'm putting whitens on everybody. Yes. On everybody. And the whitening is a $300 value. It's, it's a $300 value. $300 value for and you wait audience. wait a minute. Yes. Not just for this audience. The at-home audience can get $300 whitening. The at-home audience, if you're watching, you online, WindyCityLive.com, you get a free whitening. There you go. We got oh. it on that website. Big thank you to Dr. Bowden. Incredible work. Keep it up.